Boy, and also the selection that the president has made. This is now President Cyril Ramaphosa, Zizi Kotwa, as well as Jeff Khatebe. Are these the two people that would instill confidence in the transitional conversation that just um, might be triggered because of this intention by uh, Tom Tabani to step down? For me, when I look at the delegation, it was more of a, of a fact-finding mission mm -hmm. because when you deal with issues of transition, you'll have to involve the international relations and also perhaps senior ministers on the security cluster. For these reasons, uh, Minister Hadebe is an envoy and he, can, he can't really take decisions on behalf of government. He must constantly uh, consult mm -hmm. government. Two, on the issue of security, Lesotho is a very tricky country. You know that uh, when there are tensions like these, you find the security cluster, particularly your mount, mountain police and also your defense or your security, your military, mm -hmm. taking sides. Therefore, you must send a senior security cluster minister so that that person can get a sense of what's the security like on mm -hmm. the ground, uh, if needs be, whether you need reinforcement from SADC mm -hmm. uh, to make sure that uh, there is security and uh, the country is at peace. And I think it was more of a fact-finding mission. Yeah. We'll see more senior delegation joining okay. the current delegation. Uh, because the question that I had was um, considering that both these people, this is now Jeff Khatebe who's a former long-serving minister and then you have Zizi Kodwa who is a deputy minister, don't sit on the cabinet. And conversations of this nature will obviously play out in cabinet when cabinet have its, its first sitting around what's currently happening in Lesotho and how South Africa can be assisting, uh, can be assisting Lesotho. But what you envisage is that at a later stage you may just find a more senior delegation. Exactly, exactly. You will see a senior a delegation and not only South Africa, perhaps some member countries on the SADC region. Mm -hmm. You know that uh, currently Zimbabwe is the chair of the organ on politics and defense in the SADC region and I expect the Minister of Foreign Affairs or Defense from uh, Zimbabwe to be part of these discussions mm -hmm. so that this transition doesn't affect peace and security mm -hmm. in the region. Was my Isaiah's um uh, the, the charges against it at all, did it lay a fertile ground for those within the coalition who don't want Tom Tabani there to use that against him to try and get rid of him? Remember, when you listen to Tom Tabani's party, it is the, the wife who caused all this because there was this feeling among party members that uh, he was in control and the Prime Minister wasn't really in control. I mean, he's 80 years old and mm -hmm. the wife is quite young. Is this Zimbabwe? In, it's almost like your Zimbabwe case. And in most cases, when you call the Prime Minister, apparently the person who'd always respond was the wife and mm -hmm. at times would take a decision on behalf of the husband. And this was not uh, a good move. Mm -hmm. And also some cabinet ministers mm -hmm. were not happy about this. And therefore, it went on where... The opposition used this thing, mm -hmm. you know, the tension within the ruling the coalition to say it's time yep. to go because uh, also it, the, 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 the government was m almost collapsing. Yeah, just quickly. So now the intention is there. There's been a conversation around him moving. So I guess the conversation now becomes the transition. What are some of the critical aspects that need to be taken into consideration and possibly also a calling of uh, bringing forward an election? Who is going to take over? Secondly... What are you going to do about Tom Tabani and the wife? Remember, the police are looking for the former first lady because they say she is a suspect. She must come and answer certain questions. Mm -hmm. Se thirdly, there are reports that a, a telephone call was made at the crime scene when Dipulelo, the former wife, was killed. And the phone calls, some of them went to the prime minister's phone. Therefore, he's indirectly a suspect. And so you have to guarantee their future. And it is for that reason, I think, uh, some of the talks will revolve around what happens next. Mm -hmm. But also, who must take over? This is a coalition government. Sure. Others are saying, Munyani uh, Muleleki, the current deputy prime minister, must step in as the deputy prime minister. The coalition is saying, no, it must be from ABC. Mm -hmm. So you have a lot to deal with behind the scenes. So it seem, seemingly seems that um, stability not yet 
Uhuru for um, Lisutu. Well, that is it from uh, the SABC's news uh, foreign editor, uh, Sophie Mokwenata.